Welcome back to Let's Play the Writer, the DLC chapter for Alan Wake. Again! I'm Burning Dog Face. We're starting on the menu because I like to start on the menu, but also because I wanted to demonstrate something to you guys that I noticed when I was faffing around with, uh, you know, American Nightmare and the original version of Alan Wake. Uh, and that's that something actually got worse in this remaster, I think. Let me check. Playback, manuscript, first episode. Oh yeah, it's the title page. I wasn't sure I had that one. By Alan Wake. Well, let's see. This is the one I'm looking for. Wake attacked by a shadowy murderer. I picked that one because I figured it was almost certain I had it. Here's what it looks like in Alan Wake Remastered. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Okay, so, you know, pages, uh, it darks out the background, drains the color from it, you know, f fine. But there's an effect in the original when you're, you know, doing the playback thing. I can't remember if it did that in-game, but... Well, at least when you're watching it from the menu, I really like this effect where it does this, and the words that you're reading appear just floating in the background and disappear at random. Looks like this. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. So, uh... I just thought that was neat and wanted to share it with you guys. You know, I don't agree with 100% of the decisions they made in this remaster. But I believe we can needed to uh, get ourselves to Other Allen. I actually missed that one in the previous episode. I noted it right after I uh, finished recording. Yes, we need to go up! Boy, this looks safe. I would absolutely trust this uh, staircase to hold my weight. He lied. Fucking A, man. The way it's hanging there like it's a shark somebody caught. I hope there's not one behind me. give the uh, outline a moment to fade away, because I don't like the idea of walking through them, frankly. No, you don't. Goodbye. Off you go. I'm just going to look up, incidentally, and note that there's no one up there. You know, not that it makes a difference. Oh, actually, that reminds me of a note I wanted to read. Let's see if I can do this real quick. Uh, shout out to Elthwar, who says that the difference in physics between Alan and Zane uh, makes him think of the Umbra from the TRPG game Mage the Ascension. We're both an astronaut doing... We're, we're an astronaut doing a spacewalk to investigate an asteroid can come across a shaman by a campfire who walked out into the forest to visit the spirits without any issues. The astronaut needs his suit to live even while the shaman is eating food he's cooking, but at the same time, the astronaut can navigate uh, around as if he was in a well-mapped zero-g environment rather than being in a mystical forest where you need to make deals with spirits to pass through. So, wow. 
Sounds like that game is fairly subjective itself. I'd also like to give a shout out to Derek Floyd, who said on the subject of an anchor I found in another episode, at least that anchor is just sitting there and not spewing clocks at you. But this is the dark place, so there's always the possibility. I'm not even going to try to explain that reference. We would be here all day. But if you really want to understand the anchor, I recommend you watch Let's Play Control. Come to think of it, they found that thing in 76, so maybe it had some influence on somebody's mind in this place. I'm not gonna lie, that was immensely satisfying. So we got three taken and a poltergeist. Big guy at the top, big guy at the top, big guy at the top! No. Wait. That would have been a really mean place to put a video game. I guess I would have heard it coming up the stairs. This bus is all burned up. Which ammo do I have? All of it. Perfect. Oh. Rose in the unnatural wind. It was heralding the enemy's arrival. Wait, what leave this place alive? I'm just gonna go ahead and grab those because fuck. He's up to his old goodness again. Do I need a shotgun? Not yet, but I will summon it just in case I need to pick it up in a hurry. Pump! I always find it interesting, well I say always, but I find it interesting that sometimes the objects just fall from like the fucking sky, and sometimes they're already sitting on the ground. Crumble! Wow, that was even more effective than I expected. Well, let me just completely sever the, uh... You're gonna have to try harder than that, my dude. Well, it worked anyway. Oh, hey, they're all clustered together. Look at that. Shit. Oh, fuck. Another one. Oh, by the way, I saw some concept art from Alan Wake yesterday, and I realized that that guy I keep saying looks like the dude from uh, Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, he's not just wearing, like, a button-up shirt and, a, and nice pants for no reason. Uh, in the original concept art, I'm pretty sure the guy that was meant to be him was uh, a gas station attendant, like Stucky. We know the old-fashioned full service. F okay, over there... I would point, except I'm using the flashlight, and there's three, uh, two booms and a crumble in that area. That section there with the, uh, the, 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 the pylon thing, so the lights on top, I thought that was a cluster of uh, construction worker taken for a second there, because of the color scheme. And, you know, the fact that everything is fucking blurry. Alright, why am I walking like that? That's weird. Oh! That doesn't usually happen. Fire in the hole! Crumble! I missed! Boom, baby! Uh-oh. Nope! Oh, shit! Oh, you don't like that, do you? I did not think that one through. I'm really glad I did not explode. Ah, what the hell. I wonder if that was just the idea of a pickup truck, or if that was a pickup truck that got lost in the lake at some point. To which I would imagine the answer is yes, again, because this place is subjective. Man. 
That friend of mine would have a fucking field day here. The answer really is yes to both options at the same time. Ah, uh, fine. Oh, that was closer than I thought it was. Yeah, I saw the line there, but... I kind of thought it was going to be that line there. <laughs> Zane! A moment. I can help you here. Oh. Holy shit. I thought he was just gonna push it over. How the hell are you doing that? It's like learning to control your dreams. There's a connection. You were in my dream. You him. Yes. I taught you. You fixed the foolish mistake I made with Barbara. May she rest in peace. And, uh, Zane, I know you can hear me, so, uh... For what it's worth, I'm sorry you and Barbara got drawn into this. Same way I'm sorry Alan and Alice got drawn into this. Oh! Whoa, physics. I kinda don't want to walk across the fucking tree bridge. I can take an excuse here to find a, uh... message. Shout out to Yornick, who says that, uh, so far this is a very inventive DLC. And a relatively interesting fact, you can't actually read any text in your dreams. It always looks like gibberish. You can, however, think that you know what's written, or as Freud once said, dreams be weird, yo, citations sorely really needed. In my experience, it feels more like I can read the words in front of me, but every time I look away from those words, what they say changes. I remember having a very confusing dream in a bookstore or the topic of the book I was holding kept changing from moment to moment. Uh... Althwar also answers my uh, question, you know, what are these things made of? And that was meant mostly meant to be rhetorical. Yeah, the darkness, that's what they're made of. They are narratively strong and impervious. Also theorizes that either the Night Springs video game is an anthology-like uh, compilation game with multiple different games and stories within it, or it's an original story done by the writers of the show for the video game, ideally one intended to work in the video game format. As for the Dark Place itself, it sounds like information and stories can freely leave, just not anything corporeal. I wonder if that was the first restriction placed on it back when it was uh, first described through artists working and listening to it. It's a very good question. All right, how about this tree, then? I mean, my god, man. The way he was just lifting that thing out of the ground. Right, forget physics. That's, uh... That was godlike. I guess this is a bit obvious. Okay, fine. Tools. Ooh. Oh, they're both. Okay. Oh! Actually, I had a comment about that, didn't I? Found it! Uh, shout out to Derek Floyd, who says that they could have trolled me with one of these rock words by playing a chord from Children of the Elder Gods instead of spawning a platform. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> that happened so abruptly I didn't even realize it had already appeared for a moment there. Oh, right, the stuff I just I just now did not pick up. Oh, I didn't realize I could even I even could walk over here. Uh -huh. Way to go, instincts! Yeah, 
exactly hit that well. Just off the path. Uh... With help from Thomas Zane, Wake is trying to make it to the lighthouse in order to find the path to Bird Leg Cabin. Oh, that's a cliff. I thought that was just uh, like a hill going down. And then I saw the tree and... Oh no, it's just moss. But still, either way! Huh. You know, I've just had the thought... If the closest thing to a physical location we have for the Dark Place is under Cauldron Lake... Then what the fuck is that? Is there a darker place beneath that? Oh no! Oh, I do not have panic like that. That was weird. Alright, I'll just go make sure I still have that thing and... Oh, hey! That was not lining up the way I thought it was. That was... Hmm. Don't like that. Okay, good. It's gone. Keep moving, don't stop. Because it's gone out, it weighs less. Ah, there you are. So we go ahead and... Oh, shit! Oh, no, he is a... Oh, no, it is a... I was thinking of a different thing there. No! You know, you have to shoot them afterwards. It's not just the light. Oh, no, that's for uh, flashbangs, not uh, actual flashes. Where is he going? And okay. I'm now technically better prepared to murder you, just FYI. I thought he was about to hop down when I did that, so god damn it. Right in the kidney! I won't say no to that. Oh no, it is a literal flash this time. Tearing me apart! Yeah, that was a good call on my part, I think. Yeah, take him down, boys! Oh! That's a thick ass cloud of birds! That's a like... Uh oh, I didn't I didn't even see the fucking taken coming. Okay, now I'll just... Oh, even better. Lights! Action! Door slam!
first time I've ever actually died to the birds. Well, this is non-ideal, I must say. Alright, there's the timer. There's the flashlights, uh, going. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play... Uh, no, not Alan Wake. Let's play The Writer, the DLC Chapter 4 Alan Wake. Again! When we head deeper into the dark place, deal with those damn birds. And, uh... Make a mental note to get Alan a therapist if he ever gets out of this place. <laughs> Until then, stay in the light. <laughs>